How are we doing today? Doing good? Happy weekend, happy Easter, Passover, everything. Good stuff, good weekend. Good. Are we, does everybody have an LRQ who needs an LRQ, Leah? Uh, everybody who filled one out. Okay, good. Uh, and you'll learn what that LRQ stuff is all about and everything, and we'll go through all of that. And this morning, I just want to talk with you, run you through some things that are important. Who's, who's interested in anti-aging? Good, because that's tonight. That's that's the workshop for today. I'm glad. If you're interested in something else, then we can schedule that next time. So, and, and not just anti-aging, but okay. I'm going to share with you my secrets, our secrets. They're really not secrets, but people don't really believe what it takes to be healthy. Because if you listen to TV or the internet, what do they want you to do to be healthy? Buy their product, right? And so you're going to learn about really, the really, the science and the truth about what it takes to literally be whatever your age is and feel 20 years younger. And the only way I can talk about is myself, my own experience. I'm smoking what I'm selling, basically. You know, we live in Colorado. We can say that now. <laughs> is that? And then I have my lovely wife, Eileen, here, who um, graduated from high school before I did. And it's really working for her because she has to put it with me. And if she can look that good at 29, hey. So, and we've raised four children. We're doing something right, okay? It's all I'm saying is, is and we don't, I want to walk you through that process of what it takes and show you how to objectively measure and know what's going on. So, um, welcome. That's what it is all about, anti-aging, right? Now, right now, the statistics are that one out of one people will die. Okay, but I want you dying. Come on up here. Right. There's a plenty of room in the front row here, Brian. But I want you dying. Uh, here's my perfect way to die. You you spend all day with your great great grandkids. You have fun. You teach them. You go take a nap and you wake up in heaven. That's how you should die. Okay. You don't spend the last five to ten years of your life in a nursing home where no one visits you. And every month when they draw money to pay for the account, it takes away all your money, takes away your house, and you have nothing to leave to your kids or your grandkids, right? Also, growing old isn't about raising your grandkids because your children never got healthy enough to do it, and so now you're raising them, okay? So growing old means that basically your birth date may change, but your looks don't have to change. How you think don't have to, doesn't have to change. What you're able to do doesn't have to change. Now, the problem is, is if you look out there or you look in America, it's really hard to get a, your bearings on what aging or aging properly is all about. All right? So let me help you create a new normal for you as far as how you want to spend the next 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years of your life. Make sense? And, I'm very, and as I was preparing for this, I got really excited because I really didn't learn anything new. The very thing that I've been teaching for the last 20 years, 22 years in this location here, is really, really the secrets to it. So you, you're, you're going to be able to figure it out, okay? So this is me. I take care of a lot of people. I've been around the world. If you're a guest here, I do what I'm talking about all around the world for Olympic athletes, for professional football players. Apollo Ono saw me in London at the Olympics, wanted to get his picture taken with me. So I said, okay, go ahead. Must be the, the fact he likes our hair, okay? Um, this is just what I volunteer you know, I, I shouldn't say when I get bored, I travel the world. But when I travel the world, it's like, okay, is this a real vacation, working vacation? I go, what's the difference? Lay down. Let's get you adjusted. I don't care. This, this is what we do, right? Um, this is my family. Now, I have a personal interest in those I love, right? Do I ever want them uh, have, living with a bad Do I allow them to have a bad attitude? Absolutely not. Do I, do I want them growing old? Do I want them getting diabetes heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, you know, and it's my job to teach them how to live, and the Bible says when they're old, they, they will not depart from it. Now, I'm, I still worry about that verse because some days I wonder, I'm just kidding, but, but I, want my, I want to enjoy my wife for the next 60, 70 years, you know? The kids have had her for the first, last 20-something years, Eventually, I'm going to get her back, right? She's on loan right now. So understand that I have a vested interest 
in making these crazy kids and my wife be around for a long time and, and really be healthy and not be sick and be happy. That makes sense? So here's the thing. What am I going to do for the rest of the, during the day when I'm here? Same thing for you. I really just want to talk today with you, and hopefully you'll capture my heart. And we can really remove all the barriers that may be keeping you uh, and keeping us from really achieving this for yourself. Make sense? And if you have questions, stop me. But really, this is what a, a talk is all about. We have lots of stuff online. If those listening were videotaping, want to get a copy of this and send it to their friends, please do so. Please do so. So we're going to defy aging. Literally, you can defy aging. I'm living proof. I'll be 50 in September. I feel I'm stronger now than I was at 29, even 19. It works. And all the secrets are in this book. It's no secret. She's got to apply it, right? So about how to, what is a sugar burner to a fat burner? You hear all these things. But def defying the aging process starts when? It starts today, right now. If you just take one thing from what I talk, even the jokes, they'll help you feel younger and feel better, okay? And again, it's not about money. How much money does Steve Jobs have? Did he defy the aging process? Did he, did he last and live strong? No, he died of cancer. And he tried a lot of alternative things. He tried a lot of things you see on TV, read in magazines. He went around the world to those so-called experts, but it didn't produce the results that he wanted. And he would have probably gave everything, including his company, away to be one more day with his family. So it's all about having the right map. He had the wrong map as far as anti-aging, as far as being healthy. God bless him, love him. We had a great contribution to this world. But what if he lasted another 50 years full of energy, peace, and joy? What could he have done for our world? You'd have bought more iPhones, I guess, probably, you know. <laughs> but again, today's about a better map. And, and some of you have heard this, but you need to hear it again. If I gave you a map of California and I asked you to find Denver, how well would you do? And even if I gave you a million dollars to spend on all the products you need to find Denver with a map of California, you'd be frustrated, right? And even if I gave you all the so-called experts on longevity and anti-aging and, and whatever else, right? <clears throat> you know, they want to just give you all these fancy fake hormones to put in your body and promise you longevity. You're not going to make it. And so the problem is that's a bad map. Well, a bad map makes you look and feel old. A bad map accelerates. We're going to talk about this today. Everybody say accelerate. accelerate. It's going to accelerate the aging process, not slow it down. Now, we're all going to get older and get wiser and get smarter and have more fun, right? Let's say that's at 5 miles an hour. Why go at 7, 10, 20 and get, and get older faster? The problem with diabetes, no one dies of diabetes, but it's an acceleration of the aging process so your arms go numb, your skin shuts down, your eyes begin to go. It's an accelerator of aging because of hormones. But the right map will make you feel and look, feel and look young because that's what you want, right? You anti-aging, you want to look and feel younger. The whole world spending, especially in America, spending millions of dollars, billions of dollars, trillions of dollars maybe, on surgeries and potions and lotions and things trying to find the fountain of youth. Well, I'm going to show you where it's at today, at least where it's at for me, right? So again, every day it's about your choices. What are your choices telling your body to do? That's what, that's what this poster is all about. Green, what, what color is healthy, young grass? Green, right? And if you take care of your grass and you water it like it's supposed to and you do the things that grass requires, does that grass ever have to go brown? Does that grass ever have to look old or feel old? It doesn't. Now, that, that yard can be 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. There's some cemeteries that been around for two, 300 years, right? What color is the grass if they water it? <coughs> it's green, right? So if you take care of yourself, your body will live and respond like it's created to. That's the good news. That's the good news. And it has to do with all your choices. Where'd my water go? Can someone find my water, please? May? There it is right there. <coughs> Bring it to me. <coughs> It's all of, I've been yelling at people since 6, 7 o'clock this morning, so I'm a little parched. No, I know, I put it over there. In a nice way. I've been encouraging you since. So the fountain of youth begins with your choices. And your, but your choices, you're like, well, I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm going to really show you what the choices that you need to make and keep it real simple for you. Can I make it simple for you and easy? Is that a good thing? Right. First of all, number one, your skin, right? You want youthful, elastic, 
youthful, good-looking skin. Well, you got to understand, your skin is an organ. So a lot of things that your choices are making are damaging your organs, and your largest organ in your body is your skin. So if you're worried about wrinkles or getting liver spots or brown spots or age spots, whatever you call it, you want your skin to be young and vibrant, then listen to what I'm saying because it's your choices that hurt everything, not just one part of the yard. It hurts everything. So how do, what do we do to help maximize your green grass? So if I step on a garden hose, which I have right here, la, 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 thank you, Leah. If I step on this hose and now we interfere with the water going to the grass, What's going to happen to the grass? It's going to die, right? And then what colors are going to start turning? Brown. Brown. And if we stay on the hose, then it will turn to die and go to dirt. And that's what this poster shows. Let me ask you, and here's the secret to longevity anti-aging. When is the grass in trouble? The minute I stepped on the hose, kinked the hose, is what you're going to learn, or the moment you notice the, the brown grass. Does that make sense? It's when your hose got kinked is when your aging process started to accelerate. So I'm going to show you today what choices you're making or you're, you're not making but it's still happening to you that's kinking your hose in different areas of your body, your skin, your emotions, your feeling that are making you feel old and look old or, not, you've not, or it's accelerating the aging process and we need to find out if you have any of this kink going on so that we can, so if I find the kink and I get off the hose and we turn a normal supply of life or water back onto your grass, what does your grass have to do? Go back to green, right? So that means we stop the accelerated aging process. Your body begins to heal and restore. And over the next 6 to 12 to 18 months, a new you is going to evolve. It's going to restore and you're going to be great, right? You're going to get your life back. And many of you have experienced that by coming here and doing this, right? Yep, yep, good. Five essentials to getting off the hose, stopping the accelerated aging process, and getting the grass back to green. What you think, does that matter? What you think? Oh, I'm getting old, and no, 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 no. You know, I had to, I, listen, you know, even me going, well, you know, you're turning... That's a lie. That's an excuse. What's, what, what am I programmed? You're going to learn that I'm programmed. You're programmed for 120 years. So turning 50 is like you're not even middle age yet. Right? You're still a baby. Right? So, but what you think can, make, can cause a kink in the hose. And again, it's what you think, you're right. You're absolutely right. I'm old. I'm no good. I have no hope. Exactly. And that's going to age you there. That's what you think will accelerate the aging process. But if you think, hey, today's going to be a good day, I'm going to be okay, no matter what, God's in control, then that matters. Nerve supply, we're going to talk about that as your number one anti-aging fountain of youth source. Are you saying it because you're a chiropractor, Dr. Jarve? No, I'm saying it because that's what research shows. Let, pretend, right? Pretend. Who's older? The, per, the person at Walmart like this or the person at Walmart like this? What's the difference? The vitamins they're taking the cream they're rubbing on, the exercises they're doing, or their posture. I'm telling you, watch out. You, 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 the things I'm giving you, I'm going to show you. I don't want to give all the secrets away, but you're going to be, I hope, I hope you're very excited when you leave here today because it's not about necessarily spending more money on empty promises. I'm going to give you the secrets that I've been using, and, and it seems to be working. Then you got to make sure you're putting in the right nutrients because bad nutrients can put a kink in the hose and, and accelerate your aging process. <clears throat> exercise is essential. Sorry, it's not a choice. It's essential. You want to stay young and look young, sleep well, fight depression. All the research is saying you got to move, you got to exercise. And we're only saying 12 minutes a day. That's all you got to do. And then toxicities. Toxicities make you look old and feel old and destroy your organs, especially your skin. Especially your skin. Somebody who smokes for a long time, how does their skin look? It just, it just, it to, it's a toxin. So it sucks the life out of you makes, and makes you look old and feel old, right? Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to die soon. Die. You, people live in their 80s or 90s, smoke a pack a day. That's not, but they're not looking, really, you know, the wrinkly, it's because of the toxins with that, okay? So, like I said, interference, kinks in the hose will kill how you look and feel. Kink in the hose makes you go from green grass to brown grass. And again, I don't make the rules. That's how God made your body. 
your, 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 I'm studying it. Your anti-aging power, the fountain of youth, is right here. Because as soon as you're conceived, the first organ formed in your body, that power that God put in your body to start making that baby, right, is the brain and spinal cord. Then the brain and spinal cord is what makes all these organs, especially your skin, that's an organ, right, and your muscles and your emotions, and all your anti-aging, aging process, the speed at which you're supposed to age, is all programmed in your brain and spinal cord. And I always say this again, I'll say it a hundred times. If this baby comes out at five months and not nine months, why is that a problem? You're not developed. The, the program is not complete yet. You're not ready to go live in this world. So what's in charge of all of that? The cream the mom rubs, out, rubs on her arms? The food she eats? No, the power in you making you for nine months, then when you're born, that power is supposed to keep you strong and every organ functioning, your eyes, your organs, your muscles, your skin, everything, for up to 120 years. And again, that's not my theory that's in the Bible, and it's in Harvard Research. They all back up each other. You may not see that out there, right? Because uh, it's not out there. It's a whole other workshop. But this is the fountain of youth. This is where life flows from you, in you, through you, and it all started right here. And here's the cool thing. It needs no help. You just got to make sure there's no kinks and different hoses that control that process, right? So you have many processes that talk to the organs and the muscles and the emotions, the skin, your energy, how you feel. We just got to make sure there's no kinks on the hose, right? So, again, this is how your spine should be. This is how you're nice and strong like this, right? Good curves in your neck, your mid-back, and your lower back. If over time my posture does this, meaning my spine goes from a normal curve to straight, what, is ha what are the vertebrae now doing to the spinal cord and nerves? Pinching it, right? This is an anti-aging talk, not a chiropractic talk. And then, what, So how do you think your brain's able to talk to your body? Which, which x-ray, which, which CAT scan, cut away a cadaver here, has better brain communication or better water or life going to the grass? This one or this one? The one on the left, right? Just read it. Green grass, right? But as soon as your posture begins to go, then it goes from brown grass to green grass, right? Now, you can have a spine like this and feel perfectly fine and be taking all your vitamins, going to the gym, going to the spa, doing mud wraps, all these things, spending thousands of dollars a year or a month on trying to look your best, right? Having things lifted and tucked and all kinds of stuff. But if your spine looks like that, What's happening to the, your aging process? It's accelerating. How many people do you know or see on TV that spend millions on their looks and they're not any happier than the day they started? And then they're getting really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> and and you, know, you know what I see? I see a hurt little boy or hurt little girl that's trying to fix something and they, and they don't realize it's, just right on, it's, in, it's inside of them. It's not outside of you. All life is from inside out. We say above, down, Inside out in chiropractic. Everything comes from God to here. He made you. He'll fix you. Like I tell my kids, I brought you into this world. I'll take you out. You know, it's, it's right here and it flows out. And everything outside here is an expression of inside here. So if I'm trying to cover up and make up and do this and lift and, and, and silicone that and lift this and inject that, it's because I'm not happy in here. You got to get the outside, inside happy. The outside just is a reflection, right? So again, and again, we know this. So if, if when, when have I told you this going from green grass to brown grass can start? When, how soon does, it, does your spine begin to get a kink in it? Birth, right? Birth. So, so here's the thing. The faster you answer my questions, the quicker we'll get to the Easter egg hunt, okay? <laughs> I get it. We'll be here till one if we have to, okay? So think about We live in a country where the doctor will pull on your head, forceps, vacuum extraction. I under, I'm not here to argue all that. It's so another talk. But what happens to this fountain of youth within the first five hours of you being born? You get, there's, a, there's a possible kink there. How do you know? You're going to wait until the baby says, oh, I got neck pain. No. In our culture, in my family, again, my family, anti-aging, I check them the minute I see that head to make sure there's no kinks in the hose. And my job is to keep the kinks off that hose for as long as I'm on this earth or as long as they let me at least take care of them. You know, I don't know about your kids, but they have a mind of their own, doggone it, you know. Um, <laughs> 
But that's when it starts. So your, your accelerated aging process, for some of you, going from green grass to brown grass, could have started the day you were born. You know, there's a kink in the hose. And if we don't get it corrected, then science says that now it goes from brown grass to dead grass where your spine begins to degenerate, and we see it right on the spine. And then it gets into dirt where basically, you know, everybody here, board head posture, go to the nursing home, you'll see it all day long. And it wasn't because they didn't take enough coat creams or lotions or medications. It's because they didn't never how to take care of their kinks in their hose, and it just shut the light off. And they accelerated the aging process. So now you go to nursing homes, you see people in their 50s and 60s and 70s, and they're all hunched over, right? What were they programmed for? Greatness. Programmed for 120 years of life, giving love to their families and to their society, right? So again, if you don't understand the spine, just watch this. Healthy green grass, normal aging, accelerated aging, the effects of long-term brown grass accelerated aging, now to dirt. That's how it happens. That's how it happens. So your vagus nerve, right? That's in your spinal cord and nerve system. It's in charge of breathing, heart rate, digestive problem issues, inflammation. Again, if all those, those are different kinks in the hose. A healthy nerve system is important to well-being and longevity. This is all what research, this isn't Dr. Joe stuff. When I look at what's important for longevity, there's, all they're talking about is the nerve system. The nerve system. And again, research shows health promoting effects that when you activate the parasympathetic nerve system, PNS, parasympathetic nervous system, it's responsible for relaxation. I'm so stressed out. I can't, I, can't, I just, I'm a, you know, you know, your fuse box and lightning just keeps hitting and blowing your fuses. You're just so stressed. And it causes worry and it causes aging process to accelerate. Slowed, slowed heart rate, digestion, sleep, and general well being. Again, this thing here is in charge of all of that. It's what made that. It made your ability to stress or not stress in the womb, and it made the ability to grow old or get older in a, in a youthful way or to feel older than you really are. It's all in your nerve system. And again, if you lose more than three centimeters, research says that that can be likely died of heart and lung and kidney disease. Why? Because you're kinking the hose, right? How do you know? Take an x-ray of the spine. Looks like that. There you are. And here's the thing. We're all worried about this, right? Double chin, triple chin, skin of the chin. Well, if your head's back by your shoulders, this skin stays nice and elastic. But if you start doing this, your posture, the skin has nothing to work for. The muscles go weak, and then you get that turkey neck, right? <laughs> so when I ask if you're doing your cervical traction exercises, well, no, I'm too busy. Fine, go ahead and get turkey neck then. Because the, the traction is designed to what? Work on my spine. No, it's designed to, it's your anti-aging tool to do this to keep your posture back so this never gets wrinkly. Or at least it doesn't have to get saggy. Okay? You got to work those muscles. If you don't use it, you lose it, right? Now you're like, heck, I'm doing my cervical. A hundred times a day, I'll do it a thousand times a day now, right? You're going to fall more, you're going to think because I'm like, all the stuff you already have in your pocket, you're not using, right? I mean, if I, Mike, if I like gave you a hammer, right, and I gave you a toolbox of all the tools you needed, right, to fix something, but you just chose to use the hammer, and you never looked in the toolbox, frustrating, right? But the toolbox is right there. Oh, you gotta, and, and you could get done much faster, right? You, and you had it the whole time. That's what I try to give you all, right? And again, this research talked about how, how and I knew I put it in there, that when you start to lose the curve and get the hump on your back, everything begins to sag. Why? Because you have a kink in the hose, and it begins to shut things down to brown grass. So again, double chin, extra skin, under the chin and neck. Why? Because that's what's happening to you. Can you see that? Again, I wish I had some magic berry from Brazil simply to tell you to take, right? But, I, but every time I try to research this stuff, I see nerve system, I see spine, I see nerve I see spine, I'm going, all right, the answer's right there. And again, if, you're, if, if, if your blood pressure begin, you know, begin to adjust your spine and bring your posture back, what, a sign of accelerated aging is your blood pressure going wrong or going abnormal. That means your body's accelerating the aging process in your heart. But when you correct your posture, when you take the pressure off the nerves, get a kink off the hose, it begins to make your blood pressure better. So it begins to reverse the, anti, the, the, the accelerated aging process. So let's talk. This is so basic. I live in a bubble. And I, sometimes I've lived in this bubble for so long, Forgive me, because I'm pretty much maybe disconnected from some, some people, from the world, you know. So don't read the screen. <laughs> How often do you think I get adjusted? 
Once a week, right? Now, I've asked some of you when we went over the x-rays, they're like, I don't know, why should you get adjusted? You feel fine. I'm like, that's the question I need to ask everybody. <laughs> I get adjusted two or three times, once a week sometimes, two or three times a week sometimes. Why? All depends on my, I have dreams, I have hopes, I have goals. It's a whole other talk. I won't get into that, right? But I need to. I don't want to walk in here crooked and say, hi, let's get you adjusted, right? <laughs> that's not good. It's like the doctor who's like, you know, you need to really quit smoking and lose some weight. And my response is, you go first, pal. You know, that, that's my response. So I get adjusted two or three times a week. Because I know about this, yes. Because I want to be a good leader, absolutely. I don't like to hurt. Be a real bummer for my wife if I got cancer or diabetes or Alzheimer's. Maybe not Alzheimer's. I don't know, you know. She's like, he doesn't know who he is. Hey, that's a good. <laughs> I can be what I want to be. That's a bad joke, sorry. But I, do, I wear my head weights at least four times a week, right? I get adjusted two or three times a week. Why? I, want, I like feeling strong. I like staying strong, and I like being strong. I get my x-rays every six months to make sure what my spine's doing. And again, when do you think my last adjustment will be? Like, like some within the first, yeah, but sometime close when I'm really old, right? Will I ever get too busy to get adjusted? Will I ever say I can't afford to get adjusted? Will I ever get mad at my chiropractor? And change? No, the whole point is I have a spine. I have to take care of it. I have, a, I have teeth. I need to go to the dentist, right? If I get a cavity, I don't blame my dentist. That's on me. Okay, check it, fix it, and let me keep brushing my teeth, right? But for some reason, I, I've never clearly communicated that to people, you know? Because you hear my stories. I'm like, hey, how's your friend? Fine. He's not getting adjusted, so is he really fine? He may feel okay. He may be somewhere here on his way to brown grass. But I know scientifically, if you're not getting adjusted as, as your spine says you need, you're not fine. So I go in the back. I go, oh, I throw up. I go, they're not fine. But I don't have the words to say. I'm at a screening at a mall, right? Hey, you want to get checked? No, I'm fine. Yeah, five out of six folks are dying of heart disease and cancer. Yeah, you're fine. Is it, you know, do this. Sorry, I'm venting. So... Why do you think my last adjustment will be some within the few days that I die? Why? Am, is it because I'm a chiropractor? Is it because I know something you don't know? I mean, I really want you to understand that, that, that okay, this is, oh, because oh, it's free for you, Dr. Harvey. It ain't free. You ever see my overhead as far as this business and everything? It ain't free. I spend a lot of money on chiropractic, okay, every month and getting better and getting better. So here's the thing. This is a young girl who died of an asthma attack. Now, are young girls supposed to die of asthma attacks? What, were the, what, was the, what in the womb made those lungs? The brain and spinal cord. My question is, did she have any kinks on the hose going to her lungs? And so the thing is, is when I see this going on in my community, A, that's not what was God's plan, and it breaks my heart. And my job is so that no little girl ever, ever has to go through this. That parents don't have to lose a child because of, a kink in the hose, because that's what started the asthma. That's what causes asthma. Can I tell you, people, I've adjusted, and their asthma's gone like in a week or two or a month and doesn't come back, and therefore they don't have to have any more asthma attacks? So knowing this and looking for kinks in a hose, what about, my, what about those I love who I'm, who I'm close to? And again, this is the anti-aging talk, right? This may not be the answer you were looking for. Like, hopefully you had some kind of magic potion or put on it or a magic workout or some kind of thigh move or something like that. I don't know. Because you've all been told that, right? Just do this four times a day, like Suzanne Summers. You'll be all right. But Mrs. Arve and the kids get, come to the office right here twice a week, right? This is their anti-aging plan. This is their anti-cancer plan. Why, and why? Because Leah needs to be at green grass so she can keep fighting off seizures. Mrs. Arvin needs to be at green grass to fight off menopause and, hist and, and, and the history of cancer. <laughs> she didn't preview these slides before I... <laughs> but seriously, for menopause, what's the answer? Hormone replacement therapy? What's, oh, that leads to cancer and heart disease, right? Oh, sorry, I can't use that, right? May Grant and Luke, feel strong, stay strong, be strong. When should their last adjustment be? The same answer, right? When's the last time you're going to brush your teeth? Well, when I don't, either don't have any more, or, but it, it's, it's going to be for a long time. Same principle, right? When are, you, when are you going to stop praying, right? When are you going to stop loving your family, right? When they move out. I understand that. But why? And please, 
I, I can stop the workshop right now and send you home and say, well, just get adjusted. Just get the kinks off your nerve system. And you're going to look and feel a whole lot better than you do when you will. And not just you, but your entire family, those you love. Because if they're not getting checked, they're not getting adjusted, guess what? Science says they're, they're, that's why they're heading to the nursing home. That's what science says. So, again, you hold the secret and power to define the aging process in your nerve system. That's not because I'm a chiropractor. That's what science says. That's where this, that, you look, everybody's looking for the fountain of youth, Ponce de Leon, right? Ponce de Leon depends on where you live in Atlanta. Every street's Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon depends on where you're at. The power it made you in nine months can keep you strong and full of life for up to 20 years. Don't argue with me. That's, I'm just teaching what the Harvard and Bible says. It's not a law. It's a law, not a good suggestion. Right? Law of gravity. If I stand on this chair and I say, I don't believe the law of gravity, and I write books and I have websites and I have Facebook pages, and you're, you're weird if you believe in the law of gravity. It's a cult, right? But if we all get on the building and jump off, guess what? The law of gravity don't really give a hoot, right? So if you have a kink on your spine from birth trauma or toxins or negative thinking, and your spine's kinked and it's subluxated, your medical belief, or not your, I'm sorry, I'm getting fired up here. The medical society, all that society, if they don't check your nerve system, your, your nerve system doesn't give a hoot. If you're too busy to keep your spine healthy, to do your, to do your exercises, to take care of this nerve system, I don't, you know, I don't make the rules, but you can't, whenever you try to break the laws of Mother Nature, you're going to break yourself on them. You're not going to look young. You're not going to feel young. You're going to keep looking for the bigger and badder thing to put on your face or buy or exercise or surgery to have, and it's not going to deliver you because it's not going to make you happy on the inside. This inside thing is controlled by your nerve system. So how you feel about yourself, how happy you are, your mental ability to bounce back in stressful situations is all an inside job. We just try to keep covering it up and, and, and call it anti-aging. Does that make sense? And, and when I started st working on this workshop a month ago, I was thinking, I'm like, I got to talk about the spine. I can't ignore it. I can't ignore the truth. And it's so simple. I haven't give up diet soda yet. Isn't that good news? <laughs> just, work, just work on your spine first, right? So again, think for this for a second. I would love to come here for the rest of my life. And I think most of you would say, yeah. Right? Now, it's my job just to keep it affordable and keep it fun, okay? And I promise you as your doctor, I will do that to the day I die. So I will, I will not freak out much, but I will always try to create a place that you feel safe and warm and to come, okay? But then what about your family? Would you love your whole family to be here? Then between now and then, now and now, figure out what it is. Well, it's money, fine. You'll, you're going to learn about this new comment that I'm a no excuse office. No excuse. We accept every case regardless of the condition or ability to pay. God will take care of that. God, you want to get healthy? You want to work hard? This is not for the spineless. <laughs> but again, again, your whole family needs to be here. Why? Because they have a spine. Do they all go to the dentist? Yeah. Well, why not? Well, because I, 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 whatever that I, I, I is, email me, type, let's kill it, let's trash it, let's get rid of it, let's remove it, and let's start getting them healthy. Amen? So, your fountain of youth is your spine. Why? Because green grass means everything's functioning, especially your skin. Looks young and alive because why? Your nerve system controls your skin. Okay? <clears throat> but if your spine starts to go bad, then we call that brown grass. Accelerate. What, what makes the grass go brown is an accelerated of the disease process of grass, and that's why it looks old and beat up. Right? That process of you going from green grass to, to brown grass or young to old is called dysautonomia. That means you have a dysfunction of your autonomic nerve system. Those of you at the heart workshop, I could have went another four hours on how when your nerve system gets out of balance, that begins to make your heart rate get weird, and that's what actually attacks the heart and makes it disease and attack you. It's really not anything to do about the coronary arteries. It's your and, and these aren't these are medical doctors who don't know much about chiropractic, and they're saying the reason why hearts attack the person is because there's an imbalance or negative activity of the nerve system. The parasympathetic and the sympathetic nerve system gets out of balance, and that kind of creates a kink in the wheel. And I'm like, I, I could have preached on that for another five hours. We've been here all night, 
But that's where it is. And then when your grass or your spine shuts down to dirt, then you get premature death of an organ. What is that? Uterus comes out, ovaries come out, gallbladder comes out, right? How long was that supposed to last? 120 years, just because you had good insurance and it covered taking it out, right? Doesn't matter. Or you, our muscles begin to sag and you begin to lose muscles. Muscles in your face. Those are muscles that keep you looking young. Muscles in your arm. My arm goes, my legs. Or emotion or relationships die because you just can't handle it anymore. And you check out. So again, this guy here lost over 100 pounds. All he did is took a bad spine, made it a good spine, tapped into the fountain of youth, and then he lost 100 pounds. He was doing all the Weight Watchers and all the training and all the other stuff for anti-aging. But his spine was still stuck, which means he still had kinks on the hose. So if I'm standing on the hose and you're spending money on landscapers and fertilizer and organic fertilizer and all kinds of stuff, but yet we never get off the hose, what's going to happen to your anti-aging uh, anti things for your grass? Is that going to work? And you're just going to keep getting more broken, broken, broke, right? Then you're just going to rock it all and call it zero scaping. Right? So again, I hope you're getting any good. Well, it's, you're just saying it because you're a chiropractor. No, that's the truth. That's how the body works. So, and again, people who do this over age 65 and older, who had had maintenance care, I mean, they kept their grass green for up to five years, right? Because they had a spine. Here's what happened. 60% fewer hospital admissions, 85% less pharmaceutical costs. Why? Because they got their grass back to green and they didn't need any of this other stuff. Does that make sense? So this actually saves you money. So what are clues that brown grass is happening in an infant? Because the doctor twists kinks, causes a kink, right, in the birth process. So it shows up, but we say, oh, these are normal, these are just normal things, a part of growing up, right? And how many medications or procedures do we have Eyes float in. Oh, don't worry. Just go cut the muscle. Ooh, that, that fixed it. And that's what they do. If, I, if baby's born because of birth trauma, the eye floats in. Oh, we'll just cut the muscle. Or we'll just put a special glasses on. But they're not getting to the cause of the problem. They're treating the brown grass, not, not the kink, right? Or colic, or head tilt, or constipation, or diarrhea, or ear infections, fussy. These means they have kinks on the hose. The spine's never been checked. We need to check it, release it, and let it heal. Again, Clues of brown grass or kinks of the hose in a child. Bedwetting, growing pains, asthma. Again, not sleeping through the night. Bowel issues, my tummy hurts, or the emotionally frustrated. It's like they get stuck and they can't change the channel. They have a kink in the hose. And again, some of you say, well, I had that. Yeah, that means that you've been accelerating aging for the last 30, 40 years. I know. But nobody taught you this. I know. That's why we're going to videotape it and blast out the world so they can learn the truth, right? How about a teenager, right? It's really not them. I, I've never had the terrible twos. Didn't allow it. Um, and I've had good teenagers. Why? Because I focused on their health. I focused on making them healthy. Their kids are kids, right? And, 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 but they, they did really well. But if you have a teenager in your school or church that has headaches, dizziness, constipation, attention issues, oh, no, that means they need Ritalin. That means they need a pill, right? It's crazy. It's a class of narcotic. Homicide, suicide, top two side effects. Okay, go ahead and give it to your teenager, right? So every time, I'll say it. Every time, the minute you're born, everything try to get fixed by a pill, right? So when you're 20 years old, 18 years old, and you have a bad day, and you want to take pills or drink alcohol to cover it up, you go, oh, that's bad. Well, what have you been doing to me in the last 20 years of my life? Giving me something to cover up the pain. Now I'm on my own. What am I going to do? I only know to give me something to cover up the pain. Alcohol, drugs, addiction, whatever it is, that's what we're conditioning people to learn in, in, in society. Oh, these are different. Pharmaceutical, legal drugs versus legal drugs. No, they're drugs. They're drugs. Food intolerances, low back pain, neck, frequent colds, depression, sleep problems, allergies, asthma. That's why it breaks my heart when I see someone die of an asthma attack. Menstrual, fatigue, eczema. These are all kinks in the hose for a long time and you're a teenager now, and that's why they have these problems. But don't worry, we have a medication for each one of these things that we can cover up and keep the kinks in the hose. And then, if you, and then with you, or someone in your family, right? If you're the only one in the family coming, we'll make it work. But again, if they have headaches, menstrual problems, these are all organs that nerves go to. And when the kinks, nerves get kinked, 
then the brown grass, these are all to me brown grass. That makes sense? So again, I don't make the rules. Is food all about anti-aging? Well, you can go a month without food and be okay. Well, it's about having the right water. Are you ready to buy a $5,000 water system or get a pure? Yeah, water is important, but you can go a few days without water. So water is more important when it comes to accelerating the aging process, and I'll go over that in a minute, right? You can go a few minutes without air, so air is more important. You, you know, you get air. So this is how your body is made. So if we want to turn on an anti-aging machine inside of you, then we have to look at the hierarchy of what you need first. Okay? You can't go one second without nerve supply. And again, if you don't believe me yet, then what happened to Christopher Reeves? What did he injure? So did he accelerate the aging process of his body and organs and his emotions by hurting his spine? Yes. yes. Had he broken his arm, would he have necessarily advanced the aging process in his body? No, but what makes a man go from here to here is damaging the fountain of youth. Can you see that? So when I ask you to do your wobble chair exercises, when I ask you to do your traction, when I ask you to put your head weights on at home and here, I'm not, it's not because your back hurts. Oh, it doesn't hurt today. I don't have to do it. Well, that, no. I want you to not, to, I want you to be strong, feel strong, look strong, have an anti-aging fountain of youth program, and that's what that red bag is. See what I'm saying? You have a toothbrush, right? How often do you use it? Do you take it with you on vacation? Take it with everywhere you go. Well, I'll have my bag at home. Okay, fine. Go a week without tapping into your fountain of youth. Fine. See how you feel. Oh, that vacation was so hard. I got to need a vacation for my, for my vacation. Well, maybe if you took care of your nerve system while you're on vacation, like you take care of your teeth, you'll come back refreshed from that vacation. It's a little convenient. Is it different? It's absolutely different. But is it worth it? That's up to you. But again, does he need more medication, food, exercise, attitude change, detox? No, we got to reconnect the nerve system first. Get him going back to green grass by focusing on the nerve system. Then we can do all this to the grass. So there's no shortcuts. Again, you feel like, dang, he's on with the spine. It's an anti-aging class. I have to. I can't ignore this. So is there a magic surgery or pill or lotion or magic water that we would use? The problem with that is that if my posture is like this and I have surgery to lift something or liposuck something, am I, is that going to make my posture go like this and open up the fountain of youth? No. If my posture is like this and I take every one of these products here, right? And I take lots of medication. And I put on the fancy mink oil lotion or whatever, you, you know, or I use the when in my hair shampoo, right? Because that's, you know. <laughs> or I have a $10,000 pH 10.0 water system in my house, right? My kink, my, is my host still kinked? You might get some benefit, but you're not getting full benefit for all the money you're spending. So again, the magic is where? Right, point right here. Everybody point to their heart. It's right there in you. Actually, point right there, really, for a chiropractor, okay? <laughs> Your spine allows life to flow out of you or it shuts it down. Okay? I'll get on to the magic lotion I have for you. I'm just kidding. But it literally, your spine either allows you to flow like green grass for years or it shuts you down. So the first step. What's the first step for you to look younger and feel younger? Change your diet? More vitamins? More exercise? More medication or plastic surgery? I'm going to throw something at you guys. We've got to change your spine. So if you're a patient here, don't ever get too busy miss your adjustments. It's going to shut you down and make you age faster. It makes you get wrinkly and old. Ugh. Right? And if you have anyone in your family that has a spine, $40 for the whole family. Sign them up tonight. You get, today you have, you have a sheet in front of you. Got brown grass. If you're a guest here, get signed up today. Circle time to bring them in. $40 for you and the whole family. Can't make it any better than that. Okay? Can't make it any better than that. And here's what we're going to do. That $40 you spend, have you guys met Jesse yet? Jesse's the young boy we have working here now who looks like he's 20, but he's really only 16. Um, his dream is to be in the Olympics. And he's really, really, he's like probably top in the world in his age group, if not top in the world in where he's at. He's really, really good. So, and I have a heart for that because my goal is to be in the Olympics. And I didn't make it because I just didn't have the coaching or the support that I needed. So we needed some help. 
so he's working here now in afternoons. But next week, for the next two weeks, if you bring anybody in, that $40, we're going to donate to his Olympic fund so he can travel and, and go win championships and things like that. We're going to help support him with that. So you now, as a community, are supporting some, an Olympic hopeful. So, from, so bring your family in. Bring yourself in. Right? Why? Because you have a spine. No excuse. If you have an excuse, whisper in my ear, I'll, and I'll, we'll overcome it. No excuse. Everybody say no excuse. no excuse. If you really want, again, if you really, really, really want to look young, feel young, be strong, then we've got to get a kinks out of the hose first. I don't make, that's just where it's at. Why? Because in this hose, in your spinal cord, is the power to keep you young and strong and vibrant for, for very many years. Okay? It's what I do. It's working for me, working for my family. Okay. Now, what else is there? The interference kill how you look and feel. Interference still kills how you look and feel by accelerated aging, right? Perfect. So we just killed, we just talked for hours about the nerve supply. What about thinking and food and exercise and toxicities? Those also, once you get your spine under control, you're not done. There's five essentials, not one, right? There's five. So once you get your nerve system going, now you really got some things going. Now we will look at your diet and look at, your exercise, look at your nutrition and detox and stuff like that. Now we will keep getting kinks off other hoses that can shut down the process, right? But, so here's the thing, metabolics, okay? Your LRQ, I keep saying, that's your life risk questionnaire. I can x-ray your spine and see whether you're making green grass or making brown grass, right? But how else can I look at your life to see if the choices you're making every day are making green grass or brown grass? That's what this questionnaire is. It's 100 questions that looks at every different areas of your life to see whether there's kinks on the hose or not. And then you get a score, and you get freaked out because it's so high. But that score, it, that test is very, very picky. It is very, it's not going to BS you, right? And then our goal is whatever the score is now is in 60 days, is it going to go down? And if not, then we've got to do something different. If it is, then OK. And as that score goes down, as your spine gets better and goes towards good posture, you know that you really are stopping the accelerated aging process. You know that you know that you know that you should expect green grass from your body. And you develop a faith in what you're doing and in, in, in your training. It, you hear a lot of Olympians saying, I just, trust, I just trust in my coach and I trust in my training, right? Your training delivers the promise. What you do on a day in and day out basis is why, why you look so young, why you feel so strong, and why you'll be here for a long time bugging your kids and having fun, okay? So... Again, what causes accelerated aging besides a kink in the nerve system? Insulin, hormone issues. You hear these words. You start watching PBS and read all these books, right? You see these words. You know, you're insulin resistant. You have oxidative stress. You have inflammation. Your mitochondria is dysfunctioning. The integrity of your membranes are off, right? Well, these are all like hoses that, have to, that can't have any kinks in them because if you get them kinked, then the brown grass will be weight gain, cancer, heart disease, diabetes. Does that make sense? Okay. So here are symptoms. And I just went over these symptoms, right? Early aging, fatigue, anxiety, depression. And by getting your spine corrected, could almost all these go away? Yeah. But then there are other things to work on? Absolutely. Because, again, when you have these symptoms, we check the nerve system first. Because there's people who are doing all kinds of things for anti-aging. Aren't they still having heart attacks? Aren't they still getting cancer and Alzheimer's and diabetes? Yeah, they're eating organic. They're going to the gym for hours a day. And it's not, their training is not delivering the promise. They're not losing the weight. They're not feeling happy. And they're spending all they can. That's why we like the nerve system first. But then these symptoms are caused by a kink in the hose and then Obesity, heart disease, these are all the dead grass, brown grass that are caused by it. What is CMA? CMA is Customized Metabolic Assessment. That's, that's kind of another fancy word for the LRQ. I'll go a little deeper in that in just a minute, so make sure I cover your question, okay? Michael is, Michael is my statistician. He keeps me on track here, okay? So there's other hoses that I check to make sure that your body's going to green grass when it comes to nutrition. There's your blood sugar imbalance. There's inflammation, oxidative stress, toxicity, your gut hormones, fatty acid. If we take the kinks off these hoses, then you're even going to get a faster response back to green grass. You're going to look younger, feel younger, and be happier. Make sense? So 
Being deficient in vitamins can cause an accelerated aging process. When you're deficient in vitamins, you have anxiety and depression and memory impairment. So if you have these three things, that, that's your clue that your body is accelerating. It's aging faster than it's supposed to. You're not supposed to have these things, right? So, and again, your mitochondria is the key for energy. So if you're feeling tired all the time, then we need to see if there's any kinks in the hoses going to your mitochondria, your cells, all right? So B vitamins is just one. Those are your stress vitamins. If the B vitamin hose is being kinked, then you may experience brown grass of these issues here. Depression, weight, skin, heart, sleep. And again, when I see this in your life, those are warning signs of accelerated aging. So you're getting adjusted, you're in your home rehab. What else is there? Well, we need to test with the LRQ to see if this is happening to you. What about, who's that look like? <laughs> Blood sugar imbalances will also accelerate your aging process. So fatigue, mood swings, right? If you look at what teenagers are eating, they're just not moody. It's just they're, they're just getting kinks in their hose. Inflammation, these are all signs of acceleration of the aging process. So what kinks cause blood sugar imbalance? Impaired insulin, stressful life, not moving enough, consumption of, satur of American diet food, low in fiber, high diet in caffeine, chocolate, alcohol, and soda, overconsumption of boxed or, or shel long shelf life foods. And again, as you do this one day at a time for 20, 30, 40 years, it creates kinks in the hose. So what do you get then? What's the brown grass? All these things here, which are all signs of accelerated aging. Does that make sense? Because you're not supposed to get those things. So again, one of the quickest ways to balance your blood sugar is coming here on Saturdays and working out with us, right? That basically when you exercise, you can reverse diabetes through diet and exercise. Diabetes is a disease that accelerates the aging process. So by exercising, you're putting the brakes on the aging process, and now you begin to age normally, and your hormones begin to balance. Your body begins to burn fat and build muscle because we do it in a way that's just simply 12 minutes a day. You don't need more than that. And again, 12 minutes a day. Why? Because we want to stop aging so fast. That's it. So why do you do the workout every day? I don't want wrinkles. I want to look young. I don't want my hair going great prematurely, right? It's all natural. I don't put anything in it yet. No, I'm just kidding. So now inflammation. Now here's the thing, inflammation, kink in the hose, has an effect on the whole yard. So if you have inflammation, then that can cause your depression. Your arms and legs go numb, your pancreas is shut down, immune system is shut down, your joints to go painful, your lungs to hurt, your, your heart to hurt, you don't remember your name, your heart shuts down, and cancer. Again, kink the hose, this is all the brown grass, right? So again, inflammation, many things. Inflammation kinks the hose and leads to cancer, heart disease, diabetes, brain shuts down, weight gain. These are all signs of accelerated aging as well. So what causes that? The food you're eating, the stress you're under, the sugar you're eating, lack of, you're not eating food made by God. You're eating this stuff with pink pack, blue pack, yellow pack, artificial sweeteners in it, okay? Blood pressure's up, memory, not moving like you should, smoking, overconsumption of boxed foods. This all kinks the nutrition hoses in your life and makes your body look old and feel old and get wrinkly. And again, then the consequences, the brown grass that shows up, all these things here. These are warning signs to me. Not that you need to find the right medication, but you need to find the kink in the hose so that your body can heal it, right? Oxidative stress, when you bite into an apple, what color does it turn? Brown. And so again, oxidative stress hurts your cells, your mitochondria, everybody say mitochondria, right? Leads to cancer, again, you see this, accelerated aging. What are the kinks? Toxins, cigarette, air, not enough water, too much sugar, near, near, living near power lines or waste dumps, medications, preservatives in food, alcohol, stress, processed foods. And how many people, not in here, out there, are living this lifestyle? Right? And we're hoping that some magic cream or lotion or potion or surgery is going to make it all go away, right? 
And we don't realize we're doing it with our spoon and our fork. Oxidative stress, diabetes, again, consequences. All these things are brown grass. Now toxins, okay, lead to accelerated aging. And so toxicity, when you put something on your skin <coughs> that they're promising longevity, when you take something that they're promising to help you lose weight or look young again, the problem is many of those ingredients are toxic. They cause kinks on the hose. And as you're paying out money every month or every day, every week or whatever, it's actually having the negative opposite effect on you, right? And so what causes toxicity kinks? Ex environmental mold, pesticides, plastic water bottles, unfiltered water, benzene, xylene, toluene, exposures to fabrics, medications, vaccines, cigarettes, commercial foods, artificial sweeteners, right? You get the you know, pesticides. <coughs> Household cleaners, mercury in your mouth. Some of you say, well, I'm doing all I can, and it's not working. You don't realize how it's creeping in. And so I want to show you this. What is hormone disruption? How do, you know, people say, well, I'm doing pretty good in my diet. Why am I losing weight? Because the sugar's getting in there through the back door. Or I'm doing everything I can to be healthy. I, I'm still having these issues. I still have these skin issues. I'm still, I still feel old. How can I, well, so let me show you just kind of how, what toxins can do to your body. And that's why Mrs. Arbe's here as far as because skin is your largest organ, right? And a lot of these things are making you feel old because of what you're putting on your skin. So I just want to show you just real quick this, what, what literally is being done to you under your nose, and you may not even realize it. Hi, I'm Mia Davis, head of health and safety at Beauty Counter. Did you know it's perfectly legal for companies to use chemicals linked to cancer and hormone disruption in cosmetics and other products that we use every day? Well, it is. And at Beauty Counter, we think this is unacceptable. It's our mission to get safer products in the hands of everyone and to serve as an educational resource for you as you try to reduce your exposure to toxic chemicals. Maybe you've heard of the terms carcinogen or hormone disruptor. Well, I'm going to spend a minute today just talking about what these things are and how you can avoid them. Hormone disruptors or endocrine disruptors are chemicals that can interfere with the body's endocrine system. This is a very complex and important system. It regulates our mood, growth, development, sexual function, reproductive health, and even metabolism. So even slight changes to the hormone system can have big effects. Some chemicals act as mimics and can fool the body into a response. Others act as blockers and can cause the overproduction or underproduction of hormones in our bodies. Any of these changes can potentially have big effects on our reproductive, our developmental, our neurological, or our immune systems. Some people say, aren't these really small amounts of hormone disruptors that we're talking about? And the answer is yes, but small amounts can be even more dangerous than large amounts. This is because the body makes and regulates and responds to really small amounts of hormones in our daily lives naturally. So when we're exposed to hormone disruptors in small amounts throughout the day, it can fool the body into responding. Hormone disruptors are found in a wide variety of products and places. DDT and other pesticides are often hormone disruptors. These are found in our food system and even in our backyards. Bisphenol A or BPA is a potent hormone disruptor. That's used as the building block of polycarbonate plastics, that hard, clear plastic. It's also in the resins that line food cans. So use caution when eating canned foods. Parabens are another kind of hormone disruptor. Those are preservatives very common in the cosmetic industry. Phthalates, which are common in fragrance, uh, in personal care products and in household cleaning products, those have been linked to reproductive toxicity and hormone disruption. We hope you found this information helpful. Please share it with those who matter to you most. See you next time. See, I've never met her before, but truth is truth. We and, never have to. and so when you start seeing, the problem is, is that how does this nerve system get shut down? Okay, trauma, birth trauma, toxins, can be your skin, can be your makeup, can be what you use, right? Or negative thought, all that has a negative effect. You hear me talk about don't get a flu shot, all these different things, the toxins. It's, it's an ironic that every toxin doesn't just attack an organ, it attacks the brain and nerve system. Then once, and I've talked about when your brain and nerve system is healthy, that's the highway to heaven. But when you have toxins attacking your brain and nerve system, that's the highway to hell because now it has access to every part of your body, has access to every part of your life.
So, so toxins can shut down your health because all I have to do is get on the nervous system and then I can make your heart, your lungs, your female organs, your hormones go crazy because now I have access to all of you. Does that make sense? So that's why I love Mrs. Arvey being here for more, more reasons than one. But when I'm done here about 3 o'clock, um, just talk to her about making sure you're not making yourself accelerate the aging process with your skincare products. Because everybody, I mean, I, I, there's women here. They want to know what they can do to... So I don't want you going home and trying to look younger and actually making yourself sicker. I don't want to go home and make yourself look younger and giving yourself diabetes, cancer, or Alzheimer's. That re, I mean, that'd be really a bummer, right? Spend all that money and uh, just sabotaging yourself. And same thing with men because we take whatever they give us. Here, here put, you know, put this on, right? And so again, that's how they get into your body. Is the government's not regulating it. Wrong control. So we got to really work on that. So consequences of using the wrong kind of makeup or using things that damage your hormones can lead to these consequences, which again are all signs of not being normal. They're signs of not living in America. They're signs of accelerated aging, all these areas, right? So what about your gut? Tummy distress? Your gut should be your friend, not your, not your enemy, okay? So when your tummy's not happy, because of what? Medications, antibiotics. Why do we take those? We just take them for good health, or do we already usually have a problem? Right? So we have brown grass. We don't like it. We go to the doctor. He gives us something to try to fix the brown grass, but it actually just makes it more toxic. It, may, it, it, it doesn't ever get off the hose. I'm not anti-drugs or surgery. If, you, if you're in crisis, go do it. But then we've got to get you healthy. We've got to unkink all the hoses so that you can bounce back from that from that, 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 that surgery, that crisis, right? And get on with healing, get on with your life, and have a full recovery. So kinks in the hose that make, you make your stomach upset is bacteria, not eating food, the wrong kind of alcohol, sugar intake, eating on the go, antibiotic use. And again, the questionnaire asks you, are you doing this? And if you mark yes, or we could say, oh, is it really just God torturing you? Getting back at you for whatever your mother did, right? Or it's your parents' fault, or it's your genes, or it's your kids, or it's the economy that's causing all your problems, right? That's why I'm brown grass. That darn president. No, it's you. You have kinks in the hose that you don't know about. And we're just trying to get, help you discover where that's at by the x-ray of your spine to find kinks in your nervous system, or by the LRQ, the question, to find kinks in your lifestyle. And, we, and then it's up to you to change it. Well, I smoke. Okay, now you know what it's doing to you. Well, I can't quit. Well, that's fine. That's your conscious decision. Understand, you get, don't, no surprises, though, next 20, 30, 40 years. Well, I want to look young and strong and keep smoking. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. Well, I want to lose weight and keep drinking Diet Coke. That ain't going to happen either. Well, I'm too busy to get adjusted. I want to live forever. That ain't going to happen either. I don't make the rules, right? It's a law of gravity. Okay? So, again, all these issues that you may have in your life, is not because you've been, maybe you've been told, I have a lazy stomach? No. You have kinks in the hole. I, I, I hear that. Oh, doctors, my stomach was lazy. <laughs> and you paid him to tell you that? You know? So, have you, you've heard that before? Lazy stomachs, you know, people say that? Yeah. So, uh, these are all issues that your body's aging faster than it's supposed to. So, first thing in the morning, I want everybody to get a bottle of water like this. It's really cheap. You can go to a health food store and buy one of the bottles. Do we have the green one somewhere around there? My kids usually leave them all around. I'm like, put it away. But anyhow, they have glass bottles, right? Because we don't want plastics. Because why? It can make you toxic. So we get a glass bottle. This is mine. My daughter got for me for my birthday. You can get this at the container store for like eight bucks. Or you can go to a different store, buy a glass bottle for two bucks, drink the water that's in it, and just keep refilling it. So first thing in the morning, I get up. I take this to our water filter system. Then I, I turn it on, I put 9.0 water in, I drink it. This is my first thing. The first thing that hits my tummy in the morning is water. And I drink it. Mm. And I try to drink at least this much before I go to the gym, before I do anything else. Right? I don't put coffee in my body first, because that's the first thing my body has to go to work on that day. I put water in my gut. And you read all the cancer killer books, you read all the different things, putting water... And your tummy first is going to set your gut up, your tummy up, to be able to work for you that day. Right? You need the water. Some of you are just dehydrated. And if you can get two of these in you a day, watch out. You're going to be unkinking a lot of hoses, getting good water into your system. Your skin needs water. Your kidneys need water. I need more water. Okay? Dehydration. Don't want that. Right? So, again, drink water. 
Don't leave, if you do have plastic water bottles, don't leave them out in the sun because it's going to leach. Don't put them on a microwave. Don't argue with me that. And try to move to glass if you can. You know, it's just, again, I mean, I've lived it. I've seen it. I mean, I've, you know, and, and we did a really good job on the adjusting part. But how did this stuff get in? How can, you know, what, I've had it happen in my life. I had to keep looking for more kinks in the hose. And I found it, fixed it, and now we've got health, right? It's not like, oh, I was wrong. They need lots of drugs and surgery. I'm sorry. No, no. I mean, there's times for that, baby, but it's just this here. So first step. So what can I do to be younger and look younger? Drink water first thing in the morning, okay? Now, stress hormone imbalance. I know this is none of you here, right? But again, if you're stressed out, we need to talk. And some of you who are Christians, I go, oh, you're a Christian. You should never have stress. You love God. Why do you have stress? Don't you trust him? I know. Sometimes I'm a little smart, but, you know, because I like poking them right where they, you know. But here's the point. There's this thing called a war plan. And, and, and I try to, again, I'm not perfect by all means. Trust me. Ask Mrs. Arvey. But I kind of know what tomorrow's going to look like before it gets there. So there should be no surprises. And I map my time, I map my day out. Here's the issue. Here's what causes stress. You've got 10 things to do that would normally take you eight hours to get done. You're going to try to get it done in an hour. That's called crazy. Oh, no, I can get there. It's a 30-minute drive. If you go 60 miles an hour, it's going to take you 30 minutes. Oh, no, I can do that in 10. And so the whole way there, you're like, ah! Let's be real, right? So we do that to ourselves. So a lot of our stress is self-sabotaging. We need to step back. Instead of trying to get 100 things done today, why don't you just get three things done instead of 10 things started and still kind of halfway finished by the time the end of the week starts? I know none of you do this here, right? But the thing is that I would rather get one thing done. I'm, and again, I'm preaching to the choir right here, looking in the mirror. But again, we, oh no, when you're stressed out, I want you to understand, is that person or is that problem worth another wrinkle? Because that's what you're doing. You're making yourself. Look at the presidents, how they go in, and then four years later, they're like, ah, uh, you know, because the stress ages them. Seriously. And you have to, again, you have to have faith. You have to know there's someone else in charge of your life, and that's not you. You have to have faith. You trust that God really loves you. He's not mad at you. He's in a good mood, right? He doesn't have a list of rules for you to follow, okay? He loves you and wants you to love him back and have fun and enjoy it. He's given you 120 years to enjoy and have fun and be a blessing to others and to yourself, right? But we cut it short because we worry about so much. People say, I don't know how to meditate. Yeah, you do. You know how to worry? Oh, yeah, I'm really good at that. You're just going to worry about good things instead of bad things. That's what meditation is, right? I'm going to worry about having a good day today. I'm going to worry about having fun today. I'm going to worry about my kids, how much I love them. I'm going to worry about how much I love my spouse. Focus on that, not all the bad things, right? Because, again, when you do, man, it just kills you. It just kills you. So again, there's two types of hormonal stress, stress hormones, wired and tired, right? Because you're trying to please everybody. If you create a war plan and you tell every day or every minute where it'll be spent, then you make sure those that are important to you get that, gets that time first, then work, right? So again, I'm not an expert at it, but I try to have time for my, with my kids, right? I have time with my wife. I don't always do well at it. But when my, wife, when my life is falling apart and I'm like, the wheels are coming off, I go, oh, not enough time with my wife, not enough time with my kids. Not, I'm not working hard enough. Oh, no, you're doing plenty of that. You're just, it's just you're out of balance now. You're not sleeping enough. Maybe you're not, you need to go in three times a week for a month and get adjusted. You always need to go back to the kinks and fix those because stress and worry and working too much and busyness puts kinks on the hose. You ain't got to... You ain't got to go find a new spouse or kick your dog or fire your kids or adopt more kids. It's, it's not them. It's, not, it's, it's in here. Okay? So how do you know if you're wired and tired, you lose your gaining weight around the middle and it's not going away? Why? Because your hormones are way off. Your cortisol levels, are, that's your stress hormone, is too high. And again, the, the brown grass is weighed around the middle. Now, again, you may say, well, I'm not doing it. Is this happening? Yes. Then you just haven't found the kink yet. Okay? And you're not sleeping very well because of what it's doing in accelerating the aging process. Then you have this, right? <laughs> now, if I had a glass of juice, orange juice, and a bagel for breakfast at 8 o'clock, by 10 o'clock, that's me right there. 
I, I mean, I, you, you need toothpicks to keep my eyes open, right? Ten cups of coffee won't wake me up. Why? Because I put major sugar and I dumped it on my system based on the food, and that shuts me down. And it causes yeast and candida and sugar issues and all that other stuff. You're trying to eat healthy. Well, I thought a bagel or orange juice was good, right? For a while, because it's low fat. Hey, it's okay. I, it just, when I learned that good protein and good fat, I came alive. I came alive. And I never, I don't, I don't get this anymore, right? So when you're out of gas, your adrenals are brown grass. Because you're waking up and you're still not, you're still not feeling tired. You're still feeling tired. And then you, you know, don't even talk to me until I have my first pot of coffee, right? Let me get my personality on, right? You might get my, my groove on, right? Because you're running on adrenaline just to get through the day, and then you crash, and it's just not working. And you're doing it to yourself. I'm sorry. When you point one finger at one buddy, you got three more pointing back at yourself. So again, what are consequences of being stressed out? Anxiety, depression. Don't worry. There's a pill for that. Weight gain. Don't worry. There's a pill or whatever for that. Pain. Increase. You know, you don't, don't take responsibility for your life. Don't get, get control of your life. Just take whatever we can sell you for this, right? Uh, but it's good. It's going to keep causing brown grass. And then lastly, fatty acid imbalance. You have to have good fat. Everybody say, I need fat. I didn't say you were fat. I'm just saying you need fat. But when, you're, when your fatty acids get out of balance, it makes kinks in the hose. It makes you shut down, especially your heart. Okay? And it accelerates the aging process. So here's the thing. When your fatty acids are out of balance... It kinks the hose, and then, the, then the, the, dead, the dirt is that you have full risk of heart disease. But when you feed your body what, you, what it needs, like the omega-3s and 6s and 9s, look what it does. So you have a fatty acid kink in the hose. You get off the kink by feeding it what it needs, which is, in this case, good fats and good fish oils, and the green grass comes back, and you reduce your risk of heart disease by 90%. Can you see how I explain that? The reason why your heart's not happy and you're at full risk is because the kink's in the hose. Something's causing the heart to shut down, right? How was your heart, what was your heart created to do? 120 years, right? Who says that, Dr. Joe? No, that's what, this is the frustrating thing. I went through chiropractic college and medical school reading, okay, here's how the body's supposed to work. And then I started getting patients going, that's different than what this says. Now I have a choice, treat the brown grass and keep trying to manage their condition, or try to get him back to what, what, the, what the promise says you're supposed to be. That's what I chose. See, as a doctor, I focus on getting you back to green grass, not just managing your condition. Come back, crack, okay, pay your copay, come back when it hurts again. That's just brown grass management. That's what I'm talking about, your spine. That won't produce the promise, okay? Just like brush your teeth before you go to the dentist won't produce the promise of healthy teeth. So again, what are your choices making you look and feel like? Now, it's time to water the grass, okay? It's time to begin your anti-aging program. Now you know why you're not uh, feeling like you should or could feel better, be younger, be stronger, right? So what's the first thing? Your spine, right? Why? Why is it your spine? Because Dr. Joe's a chiropractor, right? No, that's what science says. You got to, you know, Christopher Reeves, what did he break? And he really accelerated the aging process, right? So how do you know? We x-ray to test and see where you are. I'm not calling you a dipstick. But what do you, okay, guys, you have a dipstick in your engine, on the engine, right? When should you check the engine? When should you use the dipstick? After the engine blows up? After the oil light comes on to find out why the oil, or on a regular basis, you do something to see kind of where that engine is, right? Ladies, you can too. My wife, she took auto shop. It's okay. So you have a dipstick to see where you're at to know if you should put oil in, or that you know that you're safe, right? That's the whole thing. Why would you want to do all these things in America and end up with cancer, heart disease, and diabetes in a nursing home? You did everything they, you thought they said to do on Dr. Oz and the doctors and all those things, right? And where'd you end up? Brown grass and dirt. That's not enough. What I'm trying to teach you is have a dipstick. Where's the first dipstick? Not be a dipstick, right? If you don't do this, you're a dipstick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but x-ray your spine. Then what's the next thing? Having a way to objectively measure how you're living to see, okay, reality, what's going on. Life, life risk questionnaire. Uh, it's an online test. It's free. See where you are. Again, dipstick. Then once we see what you need, I'm not just going to throw all this here. You need this, you need this, you need this, right? That the only way you're going to get better is if you're having one of all these every day. That's not it. I don't even take all this every day. Why? Because I don't need it. 
There are certain things my body needs to feed it, to water the grass so that I'm green grass. There's some things I don't. And there are some things I need for a period of time that I, that I don't need forever, right? So I'm not telling you to take vitamins for the rest of your life. I'm saying only take what you need to get the kink off the hose to get back the green grass, right? So, for instance, if I'm eating Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Easter eggs, like, as soon as it, you know, every day, is that going to cause a kink on the hose or take the kink off the hose? What would that cause? Newsflash. It's kink on the hose, right? Right? Even if you pray over them, it's still kink on the hose. So, what if I made brownies made out of coconut oil and healthy almond butter and avocados and I shaped them in the, in the form of an Easter egg and I ate those instead. If I eat those, would that put a kink on the hose or start to take the kink off? Kink off. So I'm not saying you can't have fun. I'm just saying you got to know what to put in your body so that you never put a kink on the hose, right? So, and I'm going to make those when I get home. They're really good. I made, I made one of the first batch. It tastes like a cinnamon raisin bagel, I swear. But it's a brownie and there's no sugar in it. It just was really, they used raisins as sweet. I'm like, oh, that's way too many raisins. But it's cool. But it was good. You freeze them. It's really neat. So, once I see your LRQ, then we will test and measure you. We do this on Saturdays to find out what product. You know, these are the basic products. Everybody needs a certain one of these. The white, though, I don't even give them to you until after you do the LRQ and I test you. So we do muscle testing, right? Ann does muscle testing. I do my, my muscle testing is different because I do the leg check. And the way muscle testing works is that if I put my finger in this light socket and I touch Tammy, what's going to happen to Tammy? She's going to get a charge out of life, right? So... Things that are positive charge take the kink off the hose. Things that are negative charge causes kinks on the hose. They're toxic. So are there medications and vaccines and, I don't know why I talk about vaccines, medications and vitamins that you buy that are negative, they're dead food, right? And when you take them, they actually put kinks on the hose. They have a negative effect on your body. But when you take the right nutrition that's whole food, has a positive charge, it actually takes the kink off the hose, and now you're getting benefit from it. So then how much do you need? I don't know. How brown is your grass, right? Some of you may need one vitamin D a day. Some of you may need three. Why? Until you get back to green grass and then go down and then get back to one a day. I don't know. How else am I going to know? With my family, we do muscle testing. It's affordable. You lay down. I check. I check it. Some people think it's weird, but it works. It works for me. I have a way of doing it. I've been doing it for 20 plus years. It's, it, it's good and it's affordable. It's, it's cheap and it's free and it works. So I like that for you guys, right? And then and again, do that to find out, because everybody's a combination, right? So Michael may need some multivitamin, he may need some omegas, and he may need probiotics because he has brown grass of headaches, right? But Cheryl may need Max Fit, she may need Daily Defense, and she may need Max GI because she has headaches, because that deficiency of this is causing headaches. But if I say, oh, I took this and my headaches went away, you need this, and everybody needs this, and they take it, and it doesn't work, why? Because they weren't deficient in this. They're so everybody's a combination lock. You're all numbers, but I don't know what your combination is to unlock the healing inside you, right? I don't know where to water so that you begin to go back to green grass. Make sense? So I just don't throw, I mean, some of you want to buy it, and I'm like, nope, not gonna, your body doesn't want it right now. Like, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, and it is what it is, right? So again, then what do we do? We re-X-ray, we re-LRQ, dipstick, dipstick, dip, 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 dipstick, and best map wins. So not all of vitamins or beauty products deliver the same promise. So check this out. Hi, I'm Mia Davis, head of health and safety at Beauty Counter. Today, let's talk about lipstick. Think of how many times you might apply or reapply a lipstick or a gloss in just one day. Sure, some of it comes off on straws or napkins, but much of it is ingested or absorbed. In fact, some say that the average woman ingests seven pounds of lipstick in a decade. Like other cosmetics and personal care products, lipsticks and glosses can contain harmful chemicals, some of which are hidden from you, the consumer. Here are five things that you might not know about your favorite tube of lipstick. Lipsticks often contain toxic heavy metals. Lead, nickel, chromium, these are all common contaminants in lipsticks. 
But because they're not intentional ingredients, they're contaminants that are tagging along with minerals or colorants, companies are not required to list them on ingredient labels. Isn't that crazy? Lead is the most concerning because it's a neurotoxin. It can cause behavioral and learning problems, including lowered IQ. We've taken lead out of paint and gasoline, but companies are still allowed to hide it in lipstick. If lipstick has petrolatum as an ingredient, it might also have toxic PAHs. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, abbreviated to PAHs, are everywhere. They are toxic byproducts of combustion and can enter our bodies from coal burners, diesel engines, grilled meats, and cigarettes. PAHs can wind up in lipstick as a contaminant of the ingredient petrolatum. PAHs can build up in our bodies over time. They've been linked to breast cancer, they can mimic estrogen, and they can damage a cell's DNA. None of this is good. Mystery fragrance. Fragrance is a super common ingredient in cosmetics, including lipsticks, but companies don't have to tell you what fragrance is because it's a trade secret. So it's often dozens or even hundreds of synthetic chemicals, some of which are known to be toxic. An example of a toxic chemical in fragrance is phthalates. It's a plasticizing chemical, so it helps the fragrance stick to your skin longer, but it's also a hormone disruptor. Another example of a toxic fragrance ingredient is a synthetic musk, which also can disrupt the hormone system. Flavor. Cosmetic companies add flavor to lipsticks to make them taste like yummy things, like vanilla milkshakes or bubble gum. But like fragrance, flavor is a trade secret, so companies don't have to disclose what's in it. Parabens. Parabens are common cosmetic preservatives, also used in lipstick. They are problematic because they can mimic estrogen and disrupt the hormone system. And in fact, they have been found in breast cancer tissue. While preservatives are often necessary in lipstick and other cosmetic products, there are definitely safer options than parabens. At Beauty Counter, we will never use petrolatum, parabens, flavor, or fragrance, and we check for background heavy metal contamination. We screen every ingredient for safety, and we tell you every ingredient that we use. We hope that you found this helpful and that you'll share it with those who matter to you most. See you next time. So the reason why I show you these videos, if this is happening in the cosmetic makeup world, guess what's happening in the laundry detergent world? Guess what's happening in the soap world? Everything you use, the medication world, the landscaping world, the food world, the vitamin world, that, that same um, cutting corners using negative products, using, using things that causes kinks to go on the hose is, is rampant, and they don't have to tell you what's in it, right? So like Diet Coke, what do they tell you it's going to help you do? Lose weight, but it kinks the hose. So how can that ever, even if you lost 100 pounds, that just means you may weigh less in your casket when you die of cancer from, this, from the toxicity of the Diet Coke, okay? So making that dial go to zero doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be happier, or healthier, or feel younger, or feel stronger, okay? So that's why I, when I talk about the nutrition, we made these products because they weren't things around that had these ingredients in it so that we could keep the kinks off our own hose. Right? And again, I just want to be able to help you understand is that's where it's at. So again, all these nutritional products help get the kinks off the hose if your hose is being kinked. And so like vitamin D, if, this, if your lifestyle is causing a kink on the hose and you don't get out in the sun enough, then just simply being deficient in vitamin D can cause these different areas of brown grass. You go get your vitamin D levels tested because now people are, being, are, are, are onto this. And they say, well, you're 40, you're okay. The problem is that if your blood levels are 40, that means that you're protected from rickets. But if your blood levels of vitamin D are above 68 or 70, then you're protected from cancers, breast cancer, ovarian, colon, not Hodgkin's lymphoma, type 1 diabetes, fractures, falls, multiple sclerosis, kidney cancer, intermetial cancer. So where would you rather have your vitamin D levels? At 40 or 70 or above? Because at 70 or above, we know that your body can then go to green grass. If it's below 70, then there's still kinks in the hose that can cause brown grass. So that's why we like to take, I don't take vitamin D for my cardiovascular problems. I have a cardiovascular problem because I'm low on vitamin D, so I take my vitamin D, I'm low on water, take the kink off the hose, the grass begins to go green. That's what makes us different. I give you nutrition 
not to treat your brown grass, but to feed your green grass. Make sense? So vitamin D is very important. And that's why, and again, cancer research says that when you take the vitamin D, that makes your body go to green grass, which the brown grass of cancer starts to get destroyed and had a much safer and even less toxic effect than chemotherapy. That's crazy, isn't it? But th because why? Where's the ability for that to happen at? It's in you. It's right here in you. That's the cool thing. So again, vitamin D versus probiotics. We put pro probiotics in it because if there's only one thing you could take, you could afford, this is what we suggest right here. And then we muscle test to make sure you're getting enough or not too much. But this is the one thing because it has everything you need for your body to heal. Now, we have B-complex as well because, again, it helps give you more energy. We have B-complex. It's somewhere up there. It's up there. So B-complex, if, if your kinked hose is causing low energy, then we may use B-complex to water the grass to get your energy back. CoQ10, again, it's a powerful antioxidant. If, if you're taking statin drugs or your body's shutting down and you're not getting good oxidation, then we use this to get the kink out of the hose to feed your body. Max fit. If you're stressed out, you have stress hormone imbalances, you want to work out, you want to burn fat, you want to get healthy and, and look, look young, then we use max fit to get the hormones back in balance and feed it the water to that. The L-carnitine is important for energy production again. You may, you may have, have BOKMB, but you're low on carnitine because that's what's causing the brown grass, so we use that to produce energy. Magnesium. If you're low on magnesium, that can cause a kink in the hose to your heart or your blood pressure. So by taking the kink off the hose by taking magnesium, your body begins to go back to green grass. Make sense how that works? Men's multi, again, for men, you have kinks in the hose causing digestive issues, plant issues, antioxidant issues, also kelp, okay, different things in there to help take the kink off the hose there. Women, right? Everybody say ashkawanga fast three times. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a very powerful antioxidant. Now, here's the cool thing. Who was it? Somebody was taking this course on how to have better mental focus and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, they were talking about brain-body balance and how important that is. Yeah, see how smart I am? Everybody's talking about how we've put ashkawanga in our products long before Dr. Oz said it was cool. Right? I mean, he even talks about this. But we've been using it for years. I just think it's really cool. As the world finally catch up to what we've been doing for the last 20 years, it's fun. I like being right. I don't have to be right all the time, but at least it's cool. Because, I mean, think about it. If you're in a profession where for 20 years you've been telling people the wrong thing and it's causing more kinks on the hose, I'm getting out. Forget it. I'll go sell tires or something like that, right? I don't know. I'll go pave asphalt. With Clint, you can put me to work, okay? Okay, good. So daily defense. Again, curcumin, right? It's very powerful. Ask Mrs. Arbe. Is it curcumin or tumin you have on your finger? Turmeric. Turmeric. She used turmeric, and she's got her fingers have been yellow for like three to four days now. But... But uh, daily defense has curcumin in it. Why? Again, antioxidant. Get the kinks off the hose so you can feed your heart and, combat, and get your cells going so that you can get younger and look stronger. Again, we do have a detox product that helps detox your cells. You take one to detox the cells, one to detox your gut. If you need it, that's what we use to get the cells healthy again. We, again, we put Max Greens in the Power Shake so that you can get your organs cleansing and detoxing. Again, you put a scoop in the Power Shake, you shake it up, you drink it down. It's not really hard stuff but you're taking kinks off the hose and you're stopping the accelerated aging process, you're feeding your body what it needs, and you're getting younger and stronger. Perfect protein. Okay, we have, we have a, a, a whey product from grass-fed cows. It's important. I'm addicted. I'm, I'm allergic to whey. Well, try the grass-fed one. It's different. Grass-fed cows are the way they're supposed to be raised. We eat grass-fed cows, right? Time out for a second. Raise your hand if you've tried uh, corner post meats. Okay, did you like it? Would you like to take a tour of the farm? Would that be a cool thing? We have a company that we order online, and they bring it to us. It's grass-fed either beef or lamb or chicken or pork, piggies, right? I don't eat a lot of pork, but if I'm going to eat it, I'm going to make sure it's not going to kink some of my hose, right? It may kink my hose. I mean, I a whole Leviticus thing and stuff like that. I know. But I pray over it. It's okay. But we have the ability, now it's down in Black Forest on the other, by, by Colorado Springs, but I am working out if you wanted to go that we could all meet down there, take a tour of the farm, and then have a meal, check it out, so you, you actually can see, what, if you'd like to do that, 
let Leah know. Leah, make a quick hand napkin sign-up sheet. So before you go, because if, if you guys aren't interested, then fine, because it's a long drive. But if that be, I think it'd be a cool thing to go learn where your meat's being processed and stuff like that and see it, harvest it. We don't process it. We harvest the meat there. Um, but if you want to do that, that's kind of a fun thing that I might start doing. Like we do shop with the docks. But if you want to take, take a tour of the farm, they'll take you all around and show you everything, let you get your hands dirty, you know. If you want to do that, on top of all the things, just kind of let me know, let Leah know if that's something cool, and we'll set that up. Fun? Cool stuff? OK, good stuff. Um, so perfect protein. I, want, I knew I was going somewhere with that. Then, you, then if you're a vegetarian, then we have the plant protein for you. And then again, because the omegas, if your omega ratio, ratios get out of balance, that can hurt your organs. We feed yourself the good fish, good fish oils, non-toxic. Again, some of you are so far out of whack as far as your omega levels that we need to just feed you omega-3 for a while. Okay, to balance you back out, your omega. So we have that as well for you if you're testing, you need that. Max GI, again, a lot of healing takes place in the gut. If you need this, we have that for you as well. Glutamine is very important for building and maintaining muscle mass. Again, don't think of muscle mass like, like a bodybuilder. Think of muscle mass like keeping this, keeping this. They're all muscles. And if they get to sag and get old and get wrinkly, then the skin goes with it. So it keeps everything healthy. So if you need, that may be the reason why you're getting this double wave going and stuff like that and things. No matter how many push-ups you do, it's because you have kinks in the hose and, you're and it's sabotaging you. Not because you're not working hard enough and also psychological stress. Okay. Again, adrenal calm, right? If you are tired and wired, we need to feed your body the things that the stress has been taking away. So again, we have adrenal calm. We test you for that. Adrenal energy, if you're just tired all the time. You may need that for, for a period of time. Now, you don't take this to boost you back up and get your energy back and keep being stressed out. No, 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 no. This is not speed, <laughs> right, or Red Bull. And then we have sleep and mood formula. I can't sleep. Well, yeah, I understand that. And so, again, Mrs. Arve, she was on one of the products, and then all of a sudden she couldn't sleep. She was like, hey, I retested her. Oh, you don't need it anymore. And now her sleep, because if you take too much of a good thing, it's not there either. Now, talk about that for a second. So let's say I say you need two of these, right? Well, if two, guys, especially. Well, if two's good, five should be better. No. No, because all your body can process is two. Can you overwater a plant or your grass? Absolutely. And a lot of you, you know, one thing, one thing people, when I test them, they leave going, wow, I'm taking a whole lot less now than I used to, and I'm feeling better, right? Right? Show of hands, Tam, raise your hand. Okay, good, good. And, and, I'm sorry, and therefore, how does that affect your pocketbook? You spend less, right? And you're getting healthier. So there you go. And again, so today, everything is 15% off. Okay? And so if you're taking all this already, this is the basic. People need a form of this 15% off. If you're wondering if you should get this today, not till after you do your LRQ, and then let me test you next Saturday, and we'll see exactly what you need, and we'll, we'll test what you're already taking. And when you do these Saturday work, workshop, well, Saturday Appointments with me, bring everything you're taking. Everything, the whole $1,000 or more worth of cupboard of stuff that you've tried and you have in your cupboard, and we'll test you whether you need it or not, right? Am I the only one that has one of those cupboards? Okay. You know, because you walk in, oh, that looks good. I think I'll take that. Oh, I need, oh, my kidney. Oh, I, so Dr. Oz said this. I need some of that. And, and you, know, you don't know if it's working or not, right? We'll test you and see if it's working. Or you don't need it, right? So <clears throat> it's fun. And again, I'm not, if you're taking a good vitamin D, then take your vitamin D. I don't make you try to, I don't switch you out what we have. But if yours is not working, I'm going to suggest you take when it does work. Okay? So it's good. All right. Calories. Is, all, is looking younger all about controlling your calories? Everybody shake your head no. Because it's not about calories. How about making the scale go to zero? Does that produce happiness and make you younger? It doesn't. Yes. Yeah, I know. I know, we got to go back to Max Mind, right? You still got some things there. So basically what I teach you, and not today, if you get the Mac Met Metabolics book, you're going to see how your lifestyle, your eating to be anti-aging, because sugars make you wrinkly. Sugar makes you wrinkly. Go ahead and eat as many chocolate bars as you want today. You're just going to get wrinkly. Cut out the grains, right? Grains make you wrinkly and old and feel old and look old. Bad fats make you look bad. You know, sugar and fruit, and to get toxins, because we talk, now you know why I say that. I'm not trying to be mean. Most people don't like it. Why? Because you're, your body's addicted to this. And the more you eat of this, 
the more you're just stepping on your hose and you're kinking everything. Again, these are toxins, and it shuts everything down. In this case, it makes you age faster than you're supposed to. Make sense? I'm not being a mean guy. Just that's what you need to do. And so, again, on the 13th, you all have a, have a, a card to sign up for it. Leah has the recipes. Get a recipe. Make it. Bring it back for this recipe night. Right? We can't call it potluck anymore. You guys get that? We live in Colorado now. Okay, never mind. I know. It's almost 1.30. We'll be out here in a little minute. Okay? So we're going to 3. But it's recipe night so that if you eat food that gets off the hose that goes to your heart, then your heart can begin to regenerate and heal and give you energy. So what does that food look like? We're going to show you. So the really good recipes, Leah can show you. New recipes, ladies, men who've been here. But, oh, it's the same old recipes. Nope, these are all new ones. All new ones. You're welcome. Leah did all of it. She's amazing. So again, just one thing you could do to get younger and stronger is a power shake. Now, if you have a shaky cup, you put a scoop of greens. I use vanilla and I use chocolate, water, shake it, drink it down, ready to go. I feel myself getting younger as I drink it. And then, but you can have it, oh, I'm going to have some ice cream. No, have a power shake. But then you can do, have a blender and do strawberries and some almonds or nut butters or some coconut flakes. Ms. Aubrey loves the coconut flakes. You can use coconut milk, either in the can or, or, or almond milk. But if you really want the good fats and feed your mitochondria, get the coconut milk in a can. You need the fat. Avocado's fun, scoop of whatever you want in there, and then blend it up, okay? So again, everybody pull out their report if they have one. Because now we're going to go through the questions and look for kinks in the hose in your life. If you have your LRQ in front of you, we'll wrap this up. You can see your score, right? Don't freak out. Don't look at your neighbors, right? <laughs> and if you don't have one, if you don't have an LRQ yet, and we have your correct email address and everything. <laughs> Sorry. Make sure your name and correct email address is on there. One email address per family. Okay, you can't share the email address because the computer won't do that. So you have to go either start a Gmail account and do that. But check off that you want you want and hand this into Leah before you leave, and we'll get your LRQ email to you. Fill it out, and then we'll go over this uh, on your on your Saturday Saturday visit. Real quick about that. Are we getting a little busier because you guys are bringing your friends and family here and we're loving serving people? Yes. So don't bring me your bag of vitamins during adjusting time, okay? Now, if it's one, fine. But I don't have time to focus on I'm trying to get the kinks off your nerve system here. We'll set up a special time on Saturday where you can come and I, you'll have undivided attention for 15, whatever how long it takes, and then we go through all that. Does that make sense? Because I can't talk about nutrition and adjusting your nerve system at the same time. My brain does I'm a one-track man, one just... And I'm in this, like, this creepy zone, like, okay, I'm focused on you. Look in your left eye, and you're like, wow. But how do you know that hurt there? Because I'm focused on where the kink is, right? So look at your score. Find out which one is going on. Improve, needs improvement or crisis, 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 right? So now let's look at the questions. Do you exercise three or four times a week or less? Do you exercise four or more times a week? Well, the less you exercise, the more kink on the hose. The more you exercise, especially if it's metabolic the way we teach you, then the less kink on the hose. It's that simple. That's why that's an indicator or a risk indicator. If you don't do this, that has a negative effects on your body. It makes you age faster. Okay, how about your body composition? Has you, have you gained weight around the midsection? If you gain more than 10 pounds, that's a serious warning sign, not just because of Christmas. Do you have weight gain with high blood pressure? Again, these are all things I want to know about you. Because that's a serious sign that your body's going to brown grass. How about your menu? Are you craving carbohydrates and sugars? Do you crave stimulants? Caffeine, alcohol, cigarettes. These are all going to cause brown grass. So what do you do? Well, you stop smoking. You cut down or have organic alcohol. You don't have crappuccinos, right? And therefore, you won't crave and you start changing nutrition. That's how you go back to green grass. Do you eat boxed foods? Do you drink any type of soda pop? Do you have less than four glasses of water per day? White flour, five servings of vegetables less? Again, those are all going to have kinks on the hose. We need to change that. Do you use artificial sweeteners? Kinks the hose. Fried food? Kinks the hose. Processed meat? Kinks the hose. Canela oil, vegetable oil, margarine? Kinks the hose. That's why I want to know if you're doing this. Because I can be working really hard on your spine 
But if you're sabotaging yourself here, that may be reasons why you're not getting all the health benefits that I want you to have. Make sense? How about the dairy products? Maybe you're having too much dairy products. So for some people, dairy doesn't kink the hose. For some people, dairy does kink the hose. You got to know. It's got to be raw or organic, okay? Are your animal products made in a plant or from the farm? If they're made in a plant, corporate, raised, then we talked about the heart disease. The reason why they harvest cows younger than five years is because if a cow grows up in that commercial feedlot and they're more than five years old, then they're going to start getting diabetes and cancer and diseases, and they don't, they, no one wants to eat a cow that has cancer, right? So they know that, so they, they kill them off sooner. Sweets. Drink more than one alcohol three times a week. You exercise, you have excessive thirst. These are all warning signs to me that you're going into brown grass and you're accelerating your aging process. Do you eat wild caught fish? Do you eat grains containing gluten? So, do you have lack of energy, stamina? A hard time waking up. Again, how's your energy? These questions tell me whether your energy is good or bad. And if it's bad, why? And where the kinks in the hose are. Again, energy. Do you have reduced libido, drowsiness? Episodes of feeling faint, dizzy, or poor sense of balance. Do you have anemia? Again, something's wrong, and the answer isn't just more medication. We've got to find out why, where the kink is. How about your skin, hair, and nails? Again, hair loss, nails, dry skin, acne. These are all signs of the body not being green grass. Sleep. Do you have a hard time sleeping? Do you snore? Lifestyle. Do you feel like you're aging quickly? Do you have silver amalgams? Are you getting flu vaccines? These two things here make you toxic. I want to know if you're regularly getting your flu shots because that can have all kinds of issues on you. I would suggest, I say suggest get healthy green grass and you, the flu won't touch you. If it does, you get over it in a few days, right? If you're not, if you're having constant colds, it's because something's sabotaging the process. We've got to get you back up here, right? You live in a, in a sick area. History exposure of mold. Regular blood, do you have diabetes, blood pressure issues, metabolic syndrome, right, where you're, you're overweight, your blood pressure's off, diabetes, all those things together shut you down. And if you previously or had used to have cancer, not a good sign, right? Because they cut out the bad piece of grass, but don't turn the water back onto the grass, so what happens? You're still sick, okay? Immune system. Do you suffer from all these issues, allergies, rat rashes? Do you get lots of colds and flus? Do you, is your immune system attacking you? Well, how do I know? MS, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, rheumatoid arthritis, Raynaud's disease, pain. Do you have pain, muscles, migraines, history of whiplash? Again, these are all things that I want to know what's going on, and I can't ask you all these questions every time you get adjusted. You can report some of them, right? But I want to know what's going on on a regular basis. Digestion problems. Again, these questions help us see do you have digestive issues going on? And then what do we need to do to get the kink off the hose to fix it? So the next time you take this test, you can answer no, not yes. Because we're changing behaviors. Hemorrhoids, heartburn, you know, do you eat at your desk? These are all things that can cause brown grass or signs of brown grass in your health. How about your mind? Again, we're going over different areas of your life. Do you feel faint? Are you sad and depressed all the time? When you really don't have a reason to be, or if you do, how can we kind of turn the channel and get you healing? Are you irritable, right? Do you worry? You know, all these things are going to cause you to be brown grass. We've got to get you better. Do you like structure and order, tending towards the compulsive side? None of you, none of us, not me, no way. Everything's got to be in perfect alignment, right? Okay. Do you get sad? I do. That's why I love Colorado. ADHD. Do you lack relaxation, need a break, right? Every six months. I wouldn't mind taking a vacation every six months. I'd be happy, right? Do you, and not, and not, it'd be a non-adjusting vacation, my wife says. Wait a minute. Are you going with the team or are you going with me? Where, you, where is this at, right? Do you work more than 40 hours a week? Of course. There's people to save. But how many hours do you really work? You know. Eyes, ears, and mouth. Do you have bloodshot eyes, greedy eyes, sensitive eyes? Bright lights, hearing, tongue, easy, all these different things shouldn't happen. Extremities, osteoporosis, tingling, again, all these things. You shouldn't have these as you answer these questions. That's not normal. It's not because you're getting old. You shouldn't have this even if you're old. 
Male health. Now, male health and female health, I'm skipping. I'm not asking those questions. I don't care where you itch. I don't care what's going on, right? <laughs> They're there. But then you're going to get an answer. Are you in crisis, pre-crisis, needs improvement, above average, very good, or great? See, we look at that when you come in for your Saturday appointment, and I'm going to focus on crisis first. Where's the dead grass? Let's get that green again. Because what does dead grass and green grass both need? Water, right? They just need more for a period and then maintenance, all right? So again, you may be 0 to 5, great. You may be 6 to 19, very good. You may be above average, great. My goal is to get you to be 40 or less. That's my goal. Whether it takes 1 year, 5 years, 10 years, at least you're going the right way, right? Some of you are slow green grassers. <laughs> because some of you aren't ready to give up your whatever, okay? And some of you just have a lot of... Brown grass, we need to fix, and that's okay. But just know that you're going the right direction now, not keep going the wrong I'd rather go the right way slow than the wrong way fast. Okay? So if I can get you to this level, you're going to deliver the promise. It's, you're going to feel young and look young, right? You need improvement, though. These folks here at 40 to 50, 58 or 50 to 78, they're like, I feel fine. I'm good. I don't got to do this. I'm too busy to come get adjusted. I don't have to do it. I'm, this is a nice idea if I can afford they don't realize that the train's coming. They don't realize that they're ready to go over Niagara Falls because they feel what? I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm not a health nut like you, right? But I x-ray their spine. They fill an LRQ. And it's the x-ray and the LRQ, the dipstick says, <laughs> you're four quarts low. I don't, your engine may start. You may be driving, but you're four quarts low. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait and see, okay? So that's why I love it. So get a friend. I'm fine. Fine. Take the test. It's free. Crisis, we got work to do. Whether you feel bad or not, we have work to do. Okay, 79 plus crisis. Again, now you have a better map, right? Now you really know how to defy aging. So what's the next step? Take lots of vitamins. Your spine. Get adjusted. Or if this is the first time you're hearing this, get, get x-rays today. It's $40 for you and your family. so We can check your spine. If you haven't yet, take the LRQ online, fill out your name and your email, check the box, give it to Leah before, she, before you leave, and we'll get her going. Then set up an appointment on Saturday so we can find the right combination that you need for health and healing. Show up on Saturday to work out with us at 8.30-ish. <laughs> Make a power shake. Read a metabolics book and start switching out your foods. If you just did that, you're going to reverse the aging process, okay? Now, what happens if you do your LRQ 90 days, six months in a row, and that number starts sticking? Something's, something's not right, right? We've got to go deeper to look for other hoses being kinked. So that's why I do have further testing, like Eileen talked about. With Eileen, yeah, the, the plastic water bottles were, were causing toxins in her, in her, in her, to mess up her estrogens. So we found that in the comprehensive test and the fatty acid blood spot test. And we have vitamin D blood spot tests. When we see the LRQ numbers go unchanged for 90 days, that's when we look for this. And these, this, this, these cost money, but again, it shows us where more kinks in the hose are. So the vitamin D test is 75. The fatty acid ratio test is 129. And the eight biomarkers is 370. What I do is if you add these together, it's 499. But if anybody is stuck and they want to go deeper, then we do these urine and blood testing for only $3.99. It includes everything else you get. So why do I want your family to get healthy? Because if you're the only one doing this in a family of four or five, good luck. And they laugh at you while you're doing your wobble chair exercises. They laugh at you while you're doing your traction. You're doing your very best, and you, your heart's there. But again, how long will that last? To the day you die, if everybody around you doesn't understand? It's kind of hard, right? But if everybody's doing traction, wobble chair, wearing their head weights, if everybody's taking their nutrition, helping out making power shakes and cooking, now that just helps you get better. So that's why we really want, and really, the success is the average five people you live with or spend most of your time with. So if your friends are, oh, there you go, eating that diet food again, why don't you here have a Snickers bar? Well, say, you know what? I'll come visit your nursing home, but for me, I don't want to go there, okay? So again, your spine is your fountain of youth. It holds a secret to the anti-aging process. The part made you, it's, it's a law, 
We are a no excuse office. And this is not for the spineless. And so, again, no matter what you've been told, if you have teeth, you need to brush them. If you have a spine and you want to live well, it needs to be checked and adjusted on a regular basis and exercised. If we do, if I checked every child's spine at birth and corrected it, then what would the parks be filled with? What would happen to schools? Think about that. If you could grow up with no kinks on your hose, how would your life been different? What would happen to cancer? What would happen to heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, crime, and love and respect for young and old? Is this what we all dream of? And yet we're looking for it where? It's right here in you. Come, make, get your recipe today. Make the food. It's fun. We'll eat and we'll have a good time. And we'll put an end to unnecessary suffering. Okay? See Mrs. Arve about not putting toxic chemicals on your, on your skin? Buy everything she has? She gets mad at me when I say that. I'm sorry if you went over, but we had fun. I'll be here for questions. 15% off. If, if someone in your family is not getting their spine checked, let's get them x-rayed and just see where they're at. They don't, they don't have to start care if they don't want to. Let's just get it checked. See Leah for that. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Did I, mention, did, did I leave, leave anything out? Okay. God bless you guys. Have a great Easter. We'll see you on your next visit.